Good morning from The Hague in the Netherlands, which is not the capital, but it is where Parliament and the Royal Family live. And right now, I'm right outside Parliament. This weekend is the UN's International Day of Peace. So I'm going to be spending the weekend here exploring the city, discovering not just the democracy and the royal side and all the attractions here, but all of the international organisations that operate here, such as the Peace Palace and the International Court of Justice. So on this weekend every year, a lot of places will open to the public that aren't normally open. So it's a really interesting time to visit, but the city so far looks beautiful, so let's go explore. Walking into the Peace Palace is truly humbling, just as the architects have designed it, but especially knowing what's taken place here since it was built, so really try and join the tour if you can. Funds were given by one man to build the Peace Palace, but the rooms and courts have decorations donated from countries around the world, and to actually step foot inside the courtroom is, is truly incredible. One of the things that's really quite surprising about the Hague is just how open it is. Right now, this is Parliament, and there's no doors. So this is the inner court of Parliament, and you can walk in 24 hours a day, have a walk around. Um, this is where the chamber's set. This is where the king makes his speeches. And yeah, you can basically just walk in any time of day or night. It's open to the public. Uh, the Prime Minister's office is just around the corner there. It's kind of fascinating. It's the other from the UK and everything's behind security and, and police. And it's fascinating how different it is here. One thing I didn't realise is that the Hague has such a beautiful beachy coastline hidden behind leafy sand dunes and it's just outside the city centre and you can get here by tram or by bike. There's a super funky vibe here with loads and loads of cool beach bars, clubs and even beach huts you can sleep in alongside grand five star hotels and I really didn't expect to find this in the Netherlands nor the sun to be shining this much. Humanity Center. We are here to help you. Here you can register yourself so your family can trace you back and you can be reunited with your loved ones. Definitely the most emotional experience today was going to Humanity House and I couldn't even film so much there. It was so emotional and kind of encompassing. Um, really well done but the stories you read from the people that now call the Hague home who fleed their home countries and the way it's laid out is is Excellent, I really, really recommend it. It's a big dose of reality check. The prison was tough as well. I mean, being inside the cells where the prisoners had etched into the wall the messages was, was heartbreaking. And most of the people there were the resistance against the, the, the Nazi forces that invaded. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a brand new museum, it's just opened. This building here used to be a palace, but now it's one of the most famous museums in the Netherlands and The Hague, of course. Uh, it's called the Moritz House, and I'm going to go in and have a look around, especially at one of the most famous paintings in the country, the girl with the pearl earring. From the grand architecture of the city to the miniature version, but for a very special reason and to continue to raise funds for charities is Madorodom, a miniature version of the Netherlands which can be found right here in The Hague. The Hague was definitely not a normal city break, specifically on the, on the weekend I went with the, the Peace Weekend and all of these events open, but to me, it's one of the best city breaks in Europe I've ever been on. You've got the beach, you've got great food, you've got all these galleries and museums ranging from the peace and justice side of the city to, you know, the more, more child-friendly and more fun ones. But it's just a great city break. You could spend a long weekend here 
and do so many different things. And honestly, I was quite surprised because I thought when I was coming to The Hague, there might not be that much to do here because I didn't know much about the city. But really, if you're looking for a European city break that kind of ticks all of those boxes, I think The Hague might just be it.